rather be on vacation Guess I haven't got the education I don't really have an explanation Cause you're chasing me Welcome to the beautiful Greek island of Amargos. In the presence of the magical sea and the powerful mountains, today's practice is going to be guided by this incredible energy of the island. This yoga class is all about movement, strength, focus, and patience with yourself. Finding that moment of inner stillness of the mind, even through challenging postures today, will remind us of how precious and powerful that inner connection of the body and mind truly is. So if you're ready to get started and tap into that fluid and flowing energy within you, grab your mat and let's begin. Alright friends, we're going to get started today seated at the back of your mat with your feet and your knees together. Go ahead from here, interlace your fingers and bring the hands behind your back. Begin to extend the elbows and lift and open the chest all the way up to the sky. Just taking a moment to really take that deep breath through your nose and exhale out. Great, come to center. Now bring both of your hands over to the right side and then begin to roll your head over to the left and around, warming up the neck and then reverse the circle. Keep pulling that left arm behind your back so you're also getting a little bit deeper into the shoulder and then go ahead to the other side. Same thing, now both hands to the left. Roll your head over once and then switch the direction to the other side, warming up the neck. Awesome, then come back to center, extend those arms one more time, inhale, open up through the chest, and then exhale, releasing the chest all the way over to the knees as the forehead comes down and the arms reach all the way up to the sky. So going deeper into the shoulders here, and then slowly rolling yourself back up to your knees, keep the hands interlaced, opening the chest and the heart up to the sky. Deep breath in, arching the back, and then exhale, reach both arms up to the sky, releasing the hands and taking it back down into child's pose. This time reaching both arms forward and go ahead and release your forehead onto the ground. Taking a deep breath in, exhale, rounding through all the way into our upward facing dog. Drop those hips, extending through the knees and lifting your thighs off the mat. Drop those shoulders away from the ears, bend the knees and then sit back into child's pose. We're gonna do that a couple of times here. So really now starting to gain that beautiful fluidity through the body, coming through, opening into that upward facing dog, bending the knees and then exhale, releasing back into child's pose. As you come forward, round through each vertebra of your spine, drop the hips, lift those knees and open into the upward facing dog. Exhale, this time lift yourself all the way up releasing the toes, coming into our downward facing dog. Now holding here for breath, and then lift your heels off the mat and just bring the knees hovered above the floor and then extend the knees into downward dog. We're gonna do that a couple times. Bend the knees, let them hover, extend for two. Each time pressing the heels a little bit deeper into the ground. Bend the knees and extend for three. One more time, hover the knees, Extending downward facing dog four. Let's hold here a little bit longer now. Let's really think about rotating those inner thighs inward, allowing your sternum to fall towards the ground, long getting through the spine. From here, let's release into plank position. Deep breath in and then exhale. Bring yourself back into downward dog. So again, nice fluid motion with the spine as you round forward 
and back. I like to call this an ocean wave with the body. So you're rounding forward one vertebra at a time until you land in plank. And then leading with the hips as you slightly arch the lower back, releasing into your downward dog. And again, plank position. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Now inhale, opening and lifting into your upward facing dog. And then exhale, bringing yourself back into downward facing dog one more time. Bending the knees, and now this time hop or step forward to the top of the mat. Deep breath in, and then exhale, forward fold. Going deeper into the hamstrings, inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, going deeper into that standing forward fold. See if you can grab your ankles. And again, just lift up halfway, and then exhale, standing forward fold. So you're just sliding your hands up and down your shin bones. Inhale, elongate the spine. Exhale, forward fold, grab those ankles. Inhale, halfway lift up. Exhale, each time try to go a little bit deeper than the last. Holding onto the back of your calves or your ankles or simply keeping your hands on the mat. Let's stay in this forward fold for one more breath. Really feeling that release through the hamstrings, trying your best to fold from the hips. So if you need to slightly bend the knees, that's no problem at all. Focusing on the deep inhalation, bring lots of oxygen into the body. And then exhale, let it go and allow yourself to release a little bit deeper each time. Being aware of how your muscles are responding to this posture. Being patient with your body. Being loving with your body. Let's slowly come up, reaching both arms up to the sky. Exhale, dive yourself down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, this time step or hop right into Chaturanga Dandasana or plank. Come on down. Inhale, opening into that upward facing dog. And then exhale, press yourself back, downward facing dog. Taking a deep breath in here. Exhale out, bending the knees. Go ahead and hop forward to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, slowly begin to lift yourself up as your arms scoop up all the way to the sky. Exhale, bend the knees, bring the hands over towards your third eye, and then release yourself into forward fold. And again, reach up. So we're doing a nice big movement here. Bend the knees, chair. Pausing just for two seconds and then releasing yourself back up. Reach up. Exhale, sitting back down into that chair. Keep your hands in front of your third eye and then just bring them down a little bit lower towards your heart, staying in this chair position. Breathing here, now we'll just lift the heels off the mat, balancing on your tippy toes, really engaging through the lower body here. See how low you can keep your hips to the ground, keeping that nice chair posture. And then bring your arms a little higher now, your thumbs at your forehead, and with each exhalation, you're balancing on those tippy toes and allowing yourself to go a little bit deeper and then release the heels, arms reach back up to the sky chair for one more second. Inhale. And exhale, release. Go ahead and release all the way down into your forward fold. Inhale halfway. Exhale, hop or step back into plank position or right into chaturanga if that's within your practice. Inhale, opening into that upward facing dog. Exhale, press your way back. Downward facing dog. Great job. Take a moment to breathe. Take a moment to connect. And when you're ready, reach your left leg up to the sky, bending your left knee. Now begin to circle that left leg around for one. Really warming up that hip joint for two. See how big you can make the circle. Knee comes up and around for three. Up and around for four. Great job, extend the knee all the way back up, three-legged dog, bending the knee. Now exhale, bring it forward, and then step your foot between your two hands, bring that back heel onto the mat, and then open yourself up, cartwheeling the arms into warrior two. We have a drasana two. Good, just hold it here, pull the navel into the spine, and then release your arm all the way down as your front arm reaches all the way up and over into peaceful warrior. 
Good, really opening through the side body here, making sure that front knee stays on top of the ankle. And then slowly from here, come back to center, interlace those fingers again behind your back. We're going to open up through the chest, and this time allow your body to come forward so you're trying to get that left shoulder aligned with that front knee. And if it allows, see if you can go even further past your knee, so trying to get that forehead onto the mat. Keeping a nice, strong center line here. You're focused, you're stable, you're holding and you're breathing. So not only we're going deeper into the hips here, we're also engaging the shoulders, encouraging lots of flexibility, movement and fluidity into the body. Go ahead and lift yourself back up, open up through the chest, open up the heart up to the sky, keep that front knee bent. Then from here, simply begin to lift your back heel and then pivoting on the back toe so you reposition yourself into that high lunge. Hold it here, finding that center. Now we're going to be transitioning over to our next movement here. So bring all of your weight forward and that back leg is going to come up so your right knee to the chest, flex your foot, push that leg away and then with the knee straight, release it back into warrior three. Your hands are staying behind your back. Bend your knee, lift and extend, press away and then release yourself into that warrior three position. And again, bend the knee, extend and flex, and bring it back down for three. One more time, bring it up. Push and press away. And extend, point your toes, and let's hold this warrior three position. If you're comfortable, go ahead now, bring your arms forward, interlacing your fingers, except the index fingers, and holding this variation of warrior three. If this is too challenging, you can always keep your arms next to the side of your body or at your hips. Now go ahead and bend that bottom knee, see if you can find that balance for one more second, and then step your back leg all the way over to that high lunge again. Once you've found that center, let's release the hands back down and stepping back into our plank position or one-legged plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. Great job. Holding for a breath. Exhale out. Let's take it to the other side. Right leg comes up, three-legged dog. Bending that right knee, let's begin to circle the knee out and around for one. See how big you can make the circle for two. And three, warming up the hip joint and four beautiful extending that leg back out three-legged dog inhale now exhale bend the knee bring the knee to the chest hold for a moment and then step that foot between your two hands ground the back heel cartwheel the arms when you're ready warrior two check your stance check your posture drop the shoulders away from the ears deep breath in Exhale, release it back, peaceful warrior. Reaching that right arm up to the sky. Lengthening through the side body here, breathing deeply into the side body. Well done. Awesome, coming back to center. Take your arms behind your back, interlacing the fingers. Inhale, opening through the chest. And then exhale, releasing yourself forward. Good, so again, now we're trying to align the right shoulder with the right knee. And if it's possible, see if you can go even below that knee. So getting that forehead low to the ground, your arms are reaching up to the sky, getting deep into the shoulders, deep into that front hip. Beautiful. Slowly lifting yourself back up, finding that center, opening the chest, and then lifting the back heel and just pivoting your way over so you can transition into that high lunge. Take a moment, find your breath. Inhale, keep those arms behind your fingers interlaced. On your exhalation, we're going to shift our weight forward. You're gonna bring that back knee up towards your belly. Bend the knee, extend the leg as you press it away. With the straight knee, you release it back into warrior three. Bending the knee up to the chest. Push it away. Use the strength of your quadriceps, of your glutes of your core, finding that stability, bring it up, push away, and back into that warrior three. One last time, bring it up. And 
press it away and push it back warrior three let's hold that position point your back toes go ahead and release your arms now reach both arms forward interlacing the fingers index fingers pointing forward find that center find your balance beautiful now hold it here we're going to bend that bottom knee find that balance and then step back into that high lunge deep breath in find that breath exhale dive it down stepping your back leg into your one-legged plank release it through chaturanga inhale opening into that upward facing dog a nice big exhale as you release it back into your downward facing dog let's take a moment find your breath again find that intention you said at the beginning of your practice we're going to go ahead right into those spinal rolls one more time just like we did in the beginning this time adding a little bit more movement and fluidity as you roll through into plank leading with the hips arch the back downward dog expressing your body here in any way you wish finding that fluidity that movement within you and release it back great job one more time round it through plank position chaturanga let's take it down inhale opening upward facing dog exhale push back downward facing dog deep breath in bend the knees go ahead and hop forward to the top of the mat halfway lengthen exhale forward fold inhale slowly from here come on up into your chair position arms up bend the elbows exhale releasing forward fold and up to standing inhale exhale chair and then all the way down rounding right back up arms open reach it up and chair hold and dive it down come on up arms to the side meeting up at the center back into that chair hold it here now extending both arms hold see how low you can get down with those hips one more deep breath in great job now let's bring the hands to the heart we're going to challenge that balance lift the heels off the floor hold that chair position on your toes holding here see if you can go a little bit lower with the hips deep breath in with control exhale begin to lower and lower all the way down until you can be seated on top of the heels finding the balance and then releasing the hands and sitting all the way down onto the mat go ahead and extend your legs in front of you find a comfortable position flexing your feet inhale reaching both arms up exhale diving yourself forward folding from the hips not the lower back so keep the back nice and straight as you release into your seated head to toe forward fold you can either keep your hands next to your body you can grab your ankles your toes or if this posture allows for you you can even wrap your arms over top of your feet and grab your wrist with the other hand whichever position you're in just find that breath find that stillness within you focusing on the simple act of inhalation and exhalation and with each exhalation letting go of all that no longer serves you letting go of any negative energy from others from the environment from any circumstances and with each inhalation welcoming love patience and peace into your body into your mind into your being let's take one more deep breath in exhale lifting your upper body up releasing the arms go ahead and just scoot forward a little bit closer to the front of your mat reach the arms forward and at this time through each vertebra of your spine you are going to release into our final posture of our practice today our shivasana the most important posture of our entire practice as this position allows us to truly soak in all the benefits of everything that we've done together so breathe it in and then as you exhale let it all go relax your body close your eyes and just begin to notice the breath 
signal your body to let go. Feel free to do a body scan here. Notice where you're holding tension right now. Sometimes we tend to hold tension physically without even being aware of it. Some people hold tension in their forehead. Some people hold tension in their shoulders and feel this heaviness on top of them. So it doesn't matter where in the body you hold your tension. Find that place and then bring loving energy towards it and allow it to let go, to relax. There is no need to hold on to any tension. You are in control of your body. You are in control of your well-being and your happiness. So with each exhalation, let it go. Let go of everything that doesn't serve your well-being, your happiness, and your inner peace. And with each inhalation, welcome self-love, welcome patience, and gratitude for this beautiful body and existence that you have. Stay here for a moment and just notice your breath. Notice your heart beating in your chest. Notice any thoughts that come in and out of your mind. Be the complete watcher of everything that's happening around you and within you. Now let's slowly begin to bring awareness to your body, moving your fingers and your toes, and then reaching the arms over your head, big stretch with the body. And then once you're ready, rolling over to one side, and then coming up to a seated position on your mat. Go ahead and cross your ankles in front of you, your knees are open. Finding a nice easy pose here, just take a deep breath in, and exhale out. Beautiful. Let's take another deep breath in, reaching both arms up to the sky, palms together, and then as you exhale, bring your hands over towards your third eye chakra, and then down towards your heart, honoring yourself, honoring your practice, and your well-being. Thank you so much for joining us today in beautiful Greece. I send you love and light, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Namaste. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more yoga videos like this. And follow us on social media like Instagram and Facebook to stay up to date with all of our travels and adventures. Sending you love and light, and we'll see you soon.